Confusion, confusion, confusion in LSU against Ole Miss. Ole Miss looking to set a four-game losing streak to LSU. Jordan Jefferson here in the fourth quarter is going to swing his pass complete to Stephen Ridley for a seven-yard loss. But check out the play clock. LSU does not call a timeout. 27 seconds left. We're going to hear from Jesse in a moment on this. Nine seconds left. Fourth and 26. Jefferson, long bomb to Terrence Tolliver at the six-yard line. One second left on the clock. Now check out Les Miles. Les Miles is six. Spike it. Spike the ball. Spike it. Spike it. A little later, he would say he didn't know golf. Jefferson takes a snap. The clock restarts. Time runs out. And that's the end of the game. Ole Miss knocks off LSU and Les Miles confused. The only thing I can tell you, at that point in time, it's it, the, the, what we needed to have happen is run an offensive play or kick a field goal, one of the two. And um, they apparently, um, um, you know, obviously he felt like, I, I do not know who told him to clock it. There's the okay? lie. I mean, and I, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm listening liar, to liar. the headphones. You cannot clock that ball. <laughs> So I should remind Les that uh, we live in the age of television where cameras are everywhere. You can clearly <laughs> see that he's calling for the spike right there. Field goal wins the game. The clock management and game management really always falls on the head of the head coach. It was very poor late in this football game, wasting 17 seconds to call that final timeout and not having the field goal team ready to run onto the field after Terrence Tolliver catches the football to give themselves a chance to win the football game is the reason why LSU is 8-3 right now instead of being 9-2. All right, now Oregon against...